yes, the Oasis. And yes, it's really hot in here. You can look it up. I don't even look at the weather because it's just HOT, man. It's hot. But I'm going to do another video on that. Channel selector, the new one. But here's the Jeep. And this thing is hot to touch, okay? This is the one I already put the drill on and beat the hell out of. Now I got some more information on the next one. Stay tuned in. Alright, welcome back to the bench, guys and girls. We're going to get straight into this. The other day, I woke up in the middle of the night, came in here, and uh, I had this idea because it has a, a mark on it right there. I wanted to check something. So, one of the statements I made that it does not skip a beat, that is false. I didn't lie, but I wanted to make sure and I'm going to show you that. Then, we're going to do that too. All right, I've already done it. I've, I've already beat the hell out of it. It's the same as uh, my other one. Okay, let me get a picture of that. Okay. Yeah, still recording. So um, what I was thinking is like, okay, if I rotate that, it's going to be like 20 channels, no matter what. And uh, we can see that in there. We don't really care. We don't need the scope right now. So we're going to spin it a couple times and check it out. Because when you spin it, normally it doesn't skip a beat. It doesn't look like it. But if you spin it a certain way, and I don't know how that is, it skips a beat. So let's take a look. See, that's perfect. That's perfect, okay? Now I sat here and I really jacked with it. And we're gonna do it again and we're gonna try this again. But now watch, if I go like this to it, it's not, okay, there's 35. But now if we go all the way around again, it's correct. So if we kind of spin it like that, and then back, yeah, okay, it's close. But if you sit there and jack with it, you know, like that, it's not gonna be perfect every time. But, for instance, we start there, and we're looking for a channel, you know, it works. See that? Oh, there's 15, straight up and down. Go the way around. Be straight. See, sometimes, okay? Sometimes. It's weird because when, when I want to just change the channel, or I guess turn it slow, it's always there. So that's 40. Straight up and down. See? All right, so now let me try to rig this up a little bit. Oh, that just did a somersault. Got back in there. Oh, uh, confirmation has been made. They're on the way. Very trustworthy supplier. I've ordered from them before. But they're in a limited supply, so I will have these, okay? See, these are modified to work in there. The other ones I have for the uh, regular or the stock encoder let's see I got so much shit in here uh, got one here so I cut them much shorter and then I drill them out in the center so they fit flush 
but you can see where the shaft is, see it? So that's why I'm using these. Yeah, it's slightly modified. Anybody can do that. That's just a drum all the way around it. That's all I did. Okay. So we got that off. The encoders are on the way. Limited supply. I need to keep these for the new sale of the 955s. I just can't be selling the encoders and the knobs. Matter of fact, I do have a 655. It's in here, yeah. We're gonna pop it open at the end of this video if I remember. And check his channel selector. It was a radio that was sold around December. He said the encoder or the channel selector started skipping and it doesn't work at all. My customers, I will take care of. Uh, other people, you just want to send them in. You gotta understand, I still got, like, I don't know, I was just back there. I'm still looking for a box, a, spe a specific box, like at least 75 radios in the back. Not all 75 boxes, there's three, four, or five radios in a box. Still getting caught up on all this stuff. That's so why I'm not accepting any more radios. None. New sales only. Maybe in a year or so I might start taking them in again, but not now. So let's get the drill on here. Try to prop this up. Add something here. It's a 600 RPM drill. Well, let's see. See, I didn't pull this shit out, right? Yeah, that's enough for that side. You can see we're beating on it.
kind of makes it difficult to put everything in sight like this. Other direction. In the video, it looks like the drill is barely turning, but I assure you, it's cranking. And no, I see some comment that it was on low. No, it's on high. That's low. That's high. All right. Let's put the knob back on it. A little slot. I guess it was okay to use. Let's get this all back in here again. Straight up is 27. Seven. Eight. Okay, from there. 
8 8 but if you just start doing this 7 it's not exact I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that I'm a person of my word and I said it's perfect it's exact it got me up in my underwear over here 3 o'clock in the morning doing this so now between radios, I learned that it's bothering me. So I figured I'd do this video. I don't know if I'm gonna do a dissection video. But we might, this should cover it all. That's what it is, okay? That's it. It's now in stone. I will be contacting some of you guys in the order. A couple of you guys, you've been waiting a long time. And I've seen your email or your PMs. I'll be contacting you. Uh, it's 75 bucks difference. Because it already has a knob. I already have the radio. These radios come with this knob. at 625 Palomar Max Mod. The matched transistors. And all the other updates that are done to these. You know, they're, you know they're performing exceptionally well. And they're gonna keep performing. That's why, you know, I'm gonna offer this with a five year warranty, no questions asked, you pay the shipping. It might be a week or so before I get it replaced. And yes, I will be around way past five years. Don't worry about that. Maybe 10. I'm hoping 20, maybe 30, but that's kind of pushing it. Yes, I wear glasses, but when I take my glasses off, I can see real good. I'm lucky there. My hands are steady as you can imagine. All right, I think I covered it all. Yeah, I think that covers this encoder. I'll shut the air conditioner off for a second. Hold on. This guy. Makes a little bit of noise, we'll shut it off. It must be off of autofocus, something. And that's not what we want to look at. This camera does so much. But I'll let you hear it again. I can't get much closer really. Let's check it again from the straight up position. That's 31. And there we go, 11. Let's go the other way. <laughs> it's proven itself to me, okay? I've done at least half as much or more to it already than you've already seen. I've been playing with it. Now when you get them, they seem to have a little more, let me see if I get focus, of this. Brand new. I guess it's by design. But only if I show you, when you grab it you can't tell, but it, it, there's a little tiny bit. And it, nothing's changed. I mean, it's just like the one in my Jeep. Same thing, I use this radio, you guys have heard it. So, uh, there you go. The only thing left are these headers and the pins. The rest of it, the rest of this radio, the tune, transistors, the formula, or the cocktail, whatever you want to call it is doing fantastic AM and sideband. Oh, we were gonna pull out a uh, 655, hold on. It must be off autofocus. Something.
I did something. Hold on. Julian, great job on the packing, man. Let me get this open. And again, there is, for now, it's a limited supply. Kind of working on getting them from Malaysia and getting away from the 90 day lead time. Yeah, it's a long time. You know? I don't like that. So I got like, the potentiometers are no problem, but it's the, the knobs. That's a big part of it. All right, man. Box looks good. I can't hold it in front of the camera right now. I'm gonna move the camera. Get it out of there. Well, that looks good. I don't know why it's blurry. One thing or another, I need the air conditioner. Switches. Now for these, it's not going to be 75 because it, it, these didn't come with the knob. All right. Talk to your hard drive on the 25th about the 655. The coder knob is not working. You quoted 75 for the replacement. If there are any further comments or questions, feel free to call me at. Hope the number wasn't in there. No good. This thing's been in the sun, Julian. Baking in the sun, man. And I'll show you how I know how in a second. It's not gonna kill it, but it's not good for it. I know you haven't been hammering on it too bad because if you did, this side would be like that too. This side has been baking in the sun. Let me get some tape on it. I'm glad that all you Facebookers and YouTubers caught on to using tape. You guys should be saying thank you. And everything else too. Alright, let's get this thing open. No, let's just not even do that. We don't have to do that. See that's gonna be the problem and the difference. Because Julian the the knob don't fit, the factory knob. out there. Don't that suck. <laughs> See that's that's what's been going on. And you could drive them to the wheels fall up when it comes to that, but this is what does happen. It was happening, you know, within months of some of the very first strikers that came out. That's been quite a few years ago. Now, if you want them, I could do them in these too. But if you don't change the channels all the time, it's not going to be 75 on these. It's going to be 100 bucks for the 655. Okie dokie, we will take care of this. We got it, Julian. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of this evening. Hard Drive 163, Mud Duck Radio in the Desert, clear and gone. While we're at it, you're probably saying, how's it work, how's it work, how's it work, how's it work? Let's see. Push that little button there. 
There we go. Not actually set up to actually do this, but we'll do a quick one. It's stuck on 19. So uh, let's see. When one comes back. That's right. Stay tuned in. Click, click. All right. You make them ring, and I'll make them sing. Stay tuned in. You know who it is. Click, click. What's up, guys and girls? This video. This is the one I already put the drill on. Okay. Get the hell out of it. This radio. This 655. I have other videos showing this and how the radio was abused badly from heat, you know, just getting way too hot. Either in a cubby hole, probably 90% of the time it's going to be a tune, unless it's factory. This is Sun. Okay, that's how I know. But when I watched my own video before I published it, it's like, you know what? The heat most definitely contributed to this failure. Mine's dead. I don't know how many of these I've already replaced, and I do talk to my customers, but up until this time, right now, it's heat. Now, in my other videos, you start watching, start to finish, and I always put the nuggets, you know, throughout the video so I get my watch time on YouTube and it tells me by who asked what question who pays attention or not yes uh-huh so anyways it has to do with you know transference of heat you see some you know I've seen some reasons where they have heat sinks inside now if there's no circulation it's useless it only prolongs the misery is all it does but anyways see the heat sink okay regulator if you crank up the volume well the audio chip's going to transfer heat let's just skip all that just skip all that the radio's sitting on the dash in the sun baking here okay i've had radios my, myself in quartzsite arizona between my visors mounted up on top and the way the glare would come through the window and touch the heat sink and melted the base plate it even melted a hole in the back of one of my mics so on a uh, a 257, the first blue-lighted Magnum 257 ever on our, in our continent, as a matter of fact. That was built in Modi, Ohio. But anyways, the heat will transfer, okay, all the way up. There's a, let's see, like the encoder, right there, all right? Now, this is plastic, but it's chromed. So it's still going to transfer heat to the front. Probably not as much as the actual frame itself, but it's chromed. Plus the fact that it's going to build up heat on the inside. <clears throat> Bees, they can't take the heat. I've come to that conclusion now. I could be wrong. I'm not right 100% of the time, but I could... I could be wrong, but I'd say it's the heat and the materials that this is made out of. I'm sure they'll wear and some are more defective than others, but the heat is definitely contributing to the fact of sooner failure. The different plastics that are inside of this, it's made entirely different than the uh, Alps made in Japan encoder. So. Keep them out of the heat or out of the sun. If you have one of mine, you, you know, you let it get some circulation, you're never gonna get it that hot. You know, I, I just did a video of my Jeep. It's hotter than hell in my Jeep. You know, but I keep my windows up, you know. It's kinda in the sun. It's chrome and black, you know, it gets hot. 
I encoded in last hardly no time at all. You know when I put that radio in the Jeep. <clears throat> yeah, and I use it too. I, I, I spin the hell out of it. <clears throat> so it helps uh, the manufacturers. They probably won't do anything. But, so if they don't do anything, you don't get the encoder, the Alps. Keep it cool. I mean, anything. It doesn't matter. You know, you, you got specifications of various components in the actual radio itself. If you're picking in the sun, I'm not picking on you, man. The owner of this radio, it's just uh, one of those things, you know. It became that obvious. Watching the video and listening to it, they wait a minute, I know what caused it. It's got to be that. It points the finger at it. And I, this ain't the only one, you know. All right. I'll shut up now. Y'all be cool. All right, 655s and other radios, too, in the striker line, as long as they're available. Some people say, uh, well, I can get them on eBay. I don't care. That get, that you're done at that point. Never again will I communicate with you. Some people buy four. Some people have bought eight. What was it? Wednesday, customer just bought 10. 655s. If you buy 10, you will get a deal. All one invoice ships to one address. Okay? Want a deal? By 10, we're clear.